This is Dwight Tardy, right side for the Cougs. Bryant pushing, stops him for no gain. Moore with the commish. Tell us a little bit about some of the feedback you've received from uh, some of the more high-profile coaches in college. Here come the Trojan. They can't get to him initially, can't feel, now they do it. Dumped at the seven. Ryan Cushing, nowhere to go for Sean Canfield. May have had a man, but he held on to it again, David. And this was Keith Rivers. The initial pressure off the outside, number 55. And he's going to create a situation for Canfield to have to step up into the pocket. And then Cushing closes. So. Gonna get the call on first down. Looks for room, not much. Maybe a gain of one, that's about it. Jack Childress is right there. Brian Cushing, his third sack of the game, forces the fumble. And Brian Cushing, let's try to find him. He comes on an inside twist stunt right there. He looped inside from his defensive end position. He ends up beating Adam Krause, number 57. This is another huge, huge turnover. And Jackson, Lawrence Jackson, who made the interception, recovers. Deep drop, in trouble, has to try and drop it off. Incomplete. He had a tight end, Tyler Ecker, in the neighborhood, so that was not intentional grounding. One of the, one of the decisions that... On second down. And Henny is taken down by Cushing, number 10. And Brent, you talked about Brian Cushing hurt his knee two weeks ago in a scrimmage right before they went home for Christmas break. And right here, that is not really Chad Henney's game, just the straight drop back pass, Kirk. And they brought the blitz that time, Kevin Ellison from the outside, and get used to that from Pete Kidd. Second down, Henney's in trouble, sacked again, Cushing back on the field. In there along with Keith Rivers, so Brian Cushing with his second. 
Big play of the afternoon. It's a three-step drop. The quarterback wants to get rid of the ball quickly. And the only problem is when Rivers comes on the blitz, Maualuga gets right into the throwing lane of the quarterback, Chad Henney. Right there, he sees Maualuga, forces him to hold on to the football. A goal here early in this game of giving their quarterback consistent times already, and we're not even to the half. It reminds me so much of the Rose Bowl from a couple years ago where USC sacked Michigan nine times.